Hey everyone, in this video I want to go over with you on the order feature over in Elementor under the advanced tab which allows you to reorder some elements or the elements under a specific container in the way that you want to. As we can see here, I have here an example on my front page where I have some packages, the starter, growth and enterprise and let's say I want to reorder them differently on the mobile page so I'll just hit inspect to see that on mobile device and be able to see here that I've reordered them differently so the growth would be first, the enterprise would be second and then the starter would be third so in this video i'm going to show you how you can do just that and play with the order of every element that you have in elementor so without further ado let's dive right in so when i'm here over in my edit page with elementor as you'll be able to see here i have all these packages and when i click on each of these containers i'll be able to see over in the advanced tab the order option over here and you might be thinking, okay, fine, it looks pretty straightforward, and it actually is. As you'll be able to see here, we have the start and then the end. If we want to just specifically tell that this elm is right at the end, it doesn't matter what happens in between. Everything is would be in between, and this would be at the end, doesn't matter what. And the cool part here is that if we enable the three dots over here and we'll just click it, custom, we'll be able to see we have custom order. So this is a cool feature because then we will be able to specify on different devices what would be the order to our own preferences and as you've seen in the beginning of this tutorial i've shown you that the growth was the first on mobile then the enterprise was second and then the starter would be the third so the very simplest way that i'll be able to show you is that right now all the containers over here they don't have it enabled now the cool part here is that it goes by the device meaning if i'll head over to my mobile portrait and i'll head over to my growth package over here and I'll head over to order and I'll click the three dots over here and I'll put it as first you might be thinking it was going upwards but no as you can see here the first one is still starter now it goes at the bottom now the way that it works is basically sending all the items to the end but the end is actually the start so it's kind of funny to think about it but once we will reorder all the other elements now the order will make sense so let's see that in action so the growth is first now let's put the enterprise as second so we'll head over again to the order enable the three dots over here and then put two and then you'll be able to see that the growth now is put up and then the enterprise is right underneath it so let's head over to our starter over here and then let's head over to order and then enable the three dots over here and then also put as three as now we'll be able to see that the growth is first enterprise is second and then the starter is third now once you're done head over click publish or update and when we'll head over to our desktop view we'll be able to see something very strange we'll be able to see that the order here is not even enabled because we have not enabled that feature on the desktop view meaning only when we'll head over to our mobile view we'll be able to see that this option is enabled this is very important to note here because you might be thinking okay well i decided it will be differently and then let me reassure you that it only happens on different devices that you specifically specify that this element would be of a specific order now the same thing would apply whether it's on laptop view widescreen view tablet view the same thing would be here as we can see here the starter is again the first one and then the growth is the second and the enterprise is the third so as we can see here all the elements here are going by the order that we've specified so let's say for example that we want to specify something a little different let's say i want to put the stars over here underneath my testimonials over here so i'll head over to my stars over here and again I'll head over to advanced tab and I'll head over to order again I'm still on the tablet view and I'll head over and enable it and I want to put that as two and again we'll be able to see that this time it goes at the bottom and now we'll be able to specify our testimonials over here again head over to advanced and enable it and then put it as one that would not change but that would put that at the bottom as default and now when we'll head over to our desktop view we'll be able to see that our stars are at the top and we'll be able to see here that the order is not enabled and if we'll head over to our tablet view we'll be able to see that the stars are at the bottom but the testimonials are on the top and when we'll head over to the mobile view we'll be able to see that the stars are here still at the bottom 
and that is because it is taking from the upper level of the view now in order to fix that you would want to head over to each of those elements and then head over and specify it differently head over to the testimonials and then put here two and then as we can see here now it's number two and we'll head over back to our stars over here and put that as one and now we'll be able to see that the stars here are at the top and then the testimonial is just beneath it as we've seen so far we'll be able to see that we can reorder whether it's elements whether it's containers or any other element that has this feature of advanced and has the order now if you're not sure how to reorder them differently if you don't have this feature of advanced head over to the custom css and then just select it by the selector of the element of the class or id then put a display of flex and then head over and put the order attribute and then just reorder the elements the way that you want to and that's pretty much does it for this video i really hope you got some value out of this video and i really hope i made the order feature over here a little more simpler to you when you be working with elementor and flexbox inside the elementor page builder and if you did i'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that i post on elementor woocommerce wordpress or any other integrations with wordpress elementor or any other cool features with wordpress and as always i'll be seeing you in the next one